The wilderness for me is my greatest teacher. When I'm in a wild landscape, everything just makes sense to me. My novel, Go as a River, is about a young woman named Victoria Nash growing up along the banks of the wild Gunnison River on the western slope of the Colorado Rockies. The novel opens in 1948 when Victoria is 17 years old and we follow Victoria who is very connected with the land and the landscape. We follow her as she faces a variety of challenges, um, faces displacement from her homeland, uh, has to survive in the wilderness for a spell, and really discovers within herself the depth of her own strength and resilience. For me, the main lesson of being in a wild landscape is humility. And I think we all benefit from more humility in our lives. Um, when I'm in a wild landscape, everything just makes sense to me. The layers of life and death, uh, an eternal sense to it all. And it puts a lot of my petty concerns, my smaller concerns as a human being into instant perspective. And so for me, um, it's a strange but beautiful sort of dual combination of both. It gives me, it, it's humbling, but it's also empowering. I spend absolutely as much time as I possibly can in wild landscapes. Lucky for me, I live every day of my life at 9,000 feet elevation. My favorite thing to do is climb big mountains. But I'm also a camper and a hiker and a backpacker. We ski, uh, we rock climb and ice climb. I'll do pretty much anything, but not uh, for the thrill of it, I'm not a risk taker and I'm not a thrill seeker. I am out in wild landscapes doing all of the different activities um, because it feeds my soul. I think that one of the ills of modern society that does probably contribute to our lack of understanding of one another is our lack of understanding of the natural world. We have a long history, certainly in American culture, but I think all over the world, of um, exploitation and um, separating ourselves from the natural world. And I think that that then does bleed over into many other aspects of society, the idea that we can dominate or that we can use or exploit um, something that could instead be considered sacred and to our, our benefit in a different way. And so I feel like that connecting to the natural world is recentering. And I think that when we're more calm and settled and centered in ourselves, we can be more calm and settled and centered in our relationships with other people. I was a, a, a university professor for almost 30 years. I primarily taught writing and literary studies, but I also taught environmental history, literature, and philosophy. I was the founder of the environmental studies program at my university. So I taught a lot of different things as a university professor. Um, but more than anything, I love teaching my students critical thinking skills and how to believe in themselves. And I love to do that through writing and literature. I think that in our lives, everything has its season. And I think it was my season to be a teacher and a mom for a very long time. But now it's my season to be that writer that I always knew that I could be. And I'm so grateful for the journey. I'm so grateful for the process. I think the timing is just perfect. <laughs>